What up, dancers? Welcome back to Hot Market Guy, guys. We're gonna show you the classic. What the highest? What players are going for? Some players that are jams in this class. So I'm gonna show you that too. Same with uh, the prime times. They're all limited time only, so they're only out there till Monday. That one's out for a little bit longer. The prime times are just there for Monday. So yeah, and then we have the pretty much the icons. We're gonna show you that too, guys. And I'm going to show you the other way to grind coins. It's called the watch list. So you pretty much have players on your watch list too. Are going for bids. So then you can have them there watching them. What are they going for? What prices are they going for? And you can bid on them when it hits the last couple minutes of the watch. Like him. I'm going to I'm gonna actually show you right now. So it's actually, he's going for what? 37, like under a thousand. I'm gonna show you a different way. We're gonna go bazaar. We're gonna we're gonna actually put a bid on them. So we're gonna go like this. Then we're gonna go. So it's easy to do that. Then we're gonna show you the little. So these are the players that are on my market. And then we have Barzell. Or as somebody says, already there. So we're gonna bid on them again. And then we're gonna take the clicker and go up and down, back and forth is the dates. So so he'll pop up again. So it's easier to to make a steal in this. So you just go up and down till the, you see your card pop up. If he doesn't pop up, means he's nobody's bidding on him. And if it does pop up, you just go for the bid again. It's a little simple as that. A little tricks and trades, guys. How you do this? It's an easy way to do that. I'm not keep bidding on that. Uh, more ways to do stuff. We're gonna look at the prime times icons uh regular cards right now we're gonna look at the red cards so let's go to i say 82 overalls and then we're gonna go this hit this 99 so we're gonna go full 99 gold and then we're gonna start by price right now a thousand because some players will put players at a thousand bid like johansson under a thousand i'm gonna scoop that up look at that I just got Johansson under a thousand. I sold him for pretty much like this earlier today. So I just made some quick coins if that sells. So it's an easy way you just take your controller back and forth why till a card pops up. Easy, simple as that to make extra coins. And like I just got a guy who's Johansson. I sold him earlier today about almost 2k and I and he's up in the market now so that's one way to do it another way is watch list so you can go to like say a thousand here and that's all these players but you want to not go 80 you can do 82 because some players are actually going higher than 82 uh, like uh, Barzile, I think these guys, and they're all my watch list. So pretty much what you do is you want, if you see a player that you want, and you're like, oh, this is way too long. Let's go, let's go right to the back of this. So let's go, I saw like a couple good cards up here, like this dude. Oh, he's too, like, it's like what, uh, 40, 50 minutes, an hour almost. I want to watch them. So you just keep adding players on your watch list because having players on your watch list it's actually pretty good because then you can actually come back to them afterwards when you're like done something game where you're doing you have them in the watch list always add players more in your watch list I have always have tons of players in my watch list because it's easier as simple as guys it's a little trick you want if you're going for bids, you don't bid at the, like the hour mark or like you want to wait till like the last second to bid. Like let's see. Like I'm not gonna bid. Like I'm gonna wait for these cards go down to like the last second. The guy thinks they're gonna get, it and then you come in, you snatch that card away from him, and it makes it easier. So then it's like you get that card. So it's a little simple as that. I'll show you more how to do that later. Uh, what else? We're gonna show you. Icon. Uh, 
right now Cla NHL classics so these are the cards that are like up there right now and this card is a defense and he's 96 in speed like like he's a he's a pretty decent card he's going actually high in the market too as you can tell so he's going about 20k I think 15k is like the max of him so these are my two bids I have but I just wanted to take early bids on that because then people won't bid me out yeah but he's going about 15 to 20k if you get a steal from him it's actually pretty nice it'd be a pretty good card he's a kind of guy you want on your roster or try to flip how uh, else I think if he's an auto card that is actually high in the market he's a 91 speed sniper but it's five foot nine I don't know I think some def it's another defense here too is actually high in the market he goes high he's actually a pretty nice one too he's 97 speed that's another thing guys cars like this people see a car like this and they don't think oh they're like you know he's 97 but shooting and stuff is not good you can have him on the right wing on your penalty kill and he can he can help you out totally in penalty kill why not what about this guy eat like this look at this guy's stats he's an 80 overall but he's 88 in speed balance is excel like this is a nice card to have like it, people don't think and he's going cheap in the market really cheap that's something like he's an 80 in speed like he's high up there a lot of people don't. I don't know. I don't know why this guy's selling both of them. Uh, we just looked at him. What else is a nice card to have this week? He's in one of the guys. It's an 80 overall. He's 90 in speed. But I saw a defense. I know it's a def I did defense. Defense over here. He's actually really good. He's like an 83, I think. I find him. I don't know if I can find him now. Bork is actually one of the nice cards to have too. He's low, but he's actually a pretty. He has a pretty good shot. He's. Uh, hmm. What else? I don't know. I can't find him now. Icons, prime times are exactly the same. You you can have cards like these cards. Like Jack Q is going to go high in the market because he's a rookie card. Wow, what? what? I'm actually going to put this on my watch list. I have, what, six minutes? I'll be back with him. Uh, yeah, so cards like this, like, Miller is one of them. He's going high in the market. Nice shot. You just have to know what his value is before you bid on him. I say 5K, nothing over 5K on him. I have him. He's going 4K. It's not bad. We're gonna go. We're gonna level this out. We're gonna go 83s and 85s. 83s to like I don't know. I go. I'm gonna go 90 because nobody. He's another kind of card that. It's only three on the market. If you find him cheaper than 30K, put him on the market. Why not? Say I'm saying Miller too. 4K. I say he's around 5K right now. By when he's gone, same with him. When they're gone out of the market, they probably go a little up in price till they have a new upgrade. That's not their upgrade. Like I don't think that's their upgrade. Or maybe they are. Upgrade one. Pacioretty is an interesting one because there's only three on the market. 17. 17k there guys look at this I just bought bought them for 17k watch this right right on this very right now right now look at this he'll probably be sold like that 17k and then I just because that's the cheapest on the market by a little bit so yeah Pacioretty is one of them. I just 
did that right on the mark, right on the, right on the video, just to show what what I thought about it. So yeah, so that's what they are going for. Uh, prime times, I don't know, icons are interesting because I've been watching some of these new cards too. Peck, Peck, uh, Micah Pekka is one that will probably be on your team for a long time and always a lot on the market from Pekka too. If you guys want, he's actually a really good faceoff guy. 90 faceoffs, you can have him on your third, fourth, first line. He's actually really good. And he's always going around, like cheap because everybody always tries to sell him. And then he goes high in the market. Uh, let's go 83s. 83s to like what? Let's go 99 because. So, Salo is an interesting one. I saw his price going up and down today. Like there's a thousand. But he's going up and down. I don't know what his, how fast is he? 84. But he's good defensively. Highly stamina, body checks good, checking, blocking, position. So he's actually a really good defense. So he's up and down. You just have to figure, find him out. This guy is an interesting guy. I saw him going for 5k, I saw him going for 10. I'm actually going to, I don't know, I had him on my watch list. I'm going to watch that still. Always have things on your watch list. I think it's a 5k card. That's pretty much what it is, guys. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much what it is. I have cards here that are up for the market. Like, I just took, like, pa uh, pa patches with that nice. Hopefully, that's a nice still. This is what it is. So, let me just put Joe Hanson at, like, a 1,000k. I'm going to actually buy that. I'm gonna resell them now. Over a thousand K. Let's see if this sells. I don't know why would somebody do that. It's actually pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna pick up uh, Shan. I'm gonna put him back on the market for a little bit higher than that. I don't know why this guy's selling them for a little cheap, but let's see what I get. Oh, I not meant that. There you go. Let's see what I get out there. Okay, guys. So we just sold Patcheretti about for 27k. That's actually pretty nice. We bought him for 17, sold from 27. We made profit. That's actually pretty nice. So yeah, guys, we got some more steals in place. Oh no, can I get a Linholm? Can I get this card for a thousand? Yeah, there we go boys. We got another steal in our plate. I'm just gonna throw them up like that. Just to get some coins. It's like, if you just sit out here guys, just going back and forth, you will get cards. Bam, 12k. That's what I'm saying. This guy's going high in the market. He had 10k earlier. 12k there guys. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this guys. Hopefully this happened help you a little bit more than I didn't uh, always have players on your watch list guys because it's easier to have more people on the watch list so anyway guys hope you guys guys enjoy this guys don't forget to like it subscribe to dance you guys and I'm out peace